Hello everybody and welcome back to UK Dive. If it's your first time here, then just welcome. I'm very glad to be here and I'm very glad to see all you lot here. And what I've got for you today is a review of this, the Orca Torch D710. So yes guys, a couple of months ago, Orca Torch reached out and said, would I like to test one of their torches? And I've got to be honest, I kind of sat on the fence a little bit about it because I wasn't a fan of Orca Torch. Not because I've owned one, tested one before, but because when Orca Torch sort of first burst onto the market, maybe you know five or six years ago, I know a couple of divers that bought the torches. It was the first canister torch that they brought out. It was about 145 quid. Might have been the D510, but don't hold me to that number. But anyway, both the people I know that owned it both had problems. It was the same problem, basically, the LED melted. They were, you know, Orca Torch were just running them too juicy to try and up the power. So I came away with a bit of a bad taste, if, if that makes sense, as in kind of, I thought it was a bit cheap and cheerful. But anyway, I thought to myself, I probably need to give these guys a fair test. So yeah, why not give this one a whirl? So that's what I did. So. It came up with me a couple of weekends ago to the beautiful place that is Kinlock Burvey, which perhaps wasn't the best test for this because Kinlock Burvey always has beautiful visibility, which means you don't really get to test it through the gloom. But anyway, I'll run you some shots here so you can have a brief see of what it looked like. So before we start analysing that video and give you my thoughts on how the torch performed and what I think it's good at and what I don't think it's very good at, we've got to have a look at what's in the box. When it turns up to you guys, it comes in this nice white outer box, nothing special about there, but when you crack it open, you get this nice sort of travelly case box. And I really, really like this. I think this is one of the better things about Orca torches is they do give you a nice carry case. So, just cracking into it, we'll open it up. What you get in the case, so obviously the first thing, you get the torch, and it's a little dinky torch, okay? It really is. It's definitely what I'd call backup size for here in the UK. It's not primary light size, and again, I'll get onto that when we start talking about beam intensity and focus spot and all that kind of thing, because I don't think this is up to being a UK primary light, and one thing is, simply the size. But it is a nice dinky light. First other impressions on the torch is my primary light that has been for a long, long time is my Metal Sub XRE 750s. One of the things I love about Metal Sub is their coating because it is absolutely bomb proof. And if you've ever held anything made by Metal Sub, you'll know what I mean when I say it's got kind of a greasy, waxy texture almost. I mean, it's obviously metal, but it just feels a little bit slippery, but the coating's bomb proof. And I've never found anybody that's come anywhere close to the metal sub. Now, if I show you this, this is the smallest torch in my dive collection. This is a little Hollis. I think this is like 10 lumens or something like that. It's good 200 meters, but it's a tiny little thing, but this is just standard anodized. And as you can see, standard anodized is basically crap. It wears off, uh, it comes off, it's just, it's just not very robust, I find, and it eventually doesn't look very good. And you get down to the bare aluminium pretty quickly. This, I'm pleased to say, has exactly the same waxy, greasy feel as the Metal Sub. So I don't know if there's been some kind of chinese espionage where they've broke into Metal Sub's computers and stolen the magic recipe, but it does feel very much similar. So I've got high hopes for the longevity of this particular coating. It does feel nice. So anyway, long-term test on that, guys. I will report back. Apart from that, the styling's pretty good. I like the little orange thing on it. And it's got the loop at the back for the lanyard, which we shall discuss. It's a one LED beam, yep, uh, with a relatively good reflector. And it looks nice, okay? On and off button is on the side, which is a shame. I'm not a fan of buttons on the side because it just means 
In most circumstances, diving in the UK in dry gloves or thick, wet gloves, it's virtually impossible to feel where this button is. You know, if you're just using it in tropical waters, it's fine, but this all kind of feels the same when you've got wet gloves on. I know, I've tested it. I much, much prefer like the metal sub, which is what they call a tail switch, because I can find that with my eyes shut. You just go to the end of the torch, right in the middle, it is there, okay? I'm very much a fan of one-handed operation, which we do not talk about enough in diving. But like I say, by the time you've got gloves on and you can't feel these ridges and it's difficult to feel these flats, it's even difficult to feel where, the t where on the torch the button is. I found it... Um, virtually impossible to find the on off button without getting it having a look and finding it that way so it's just something to note it's not super if it had a tail switch on it'd be brilliant the button itself is titanium i don't know what that's supposed to do it's just it's just it, it is i guess so more robust tougher i don't know and again you'll see later on it's got a little led in the middle of the button that lights up green and red so green when the battery is fine red when it's at 30 percent and then it starts flashing when it gets a bit lower again i'm not a huge fan of those kind of things the first time i know that my torch is going flat normally is when it goes flat but anyway let me know in the comments down below do you find these little led things uh, much use or not i'm not sure so uh, yeah it's a meh from me on that one Hey guys, I'm just interrupting the video here to ask you a favor. I want you to go down into the description of this video and click the bit.ly link that's down there. So when Orca Torch reached out and asked me to review this, I asked them if they would sponsor the channel. And they said that if I get 70 clicks on that little link there, they will sponsor the channel. Now, I'm not quite sure what that means. What I did ask for was another one of these, so I could give it away to one of you guys for free. And they didn't say no, they said they needed 70 clicks. So what I want you to do is go down there, click that link, then I also want you to leave me a comment so I know you've clicked that link so that Orca Torch can't say, oh, we didn't get enough clicks, because if there's 70, 80, 90 of you down there that say you've clicked the link, then it's gonna make it a bit more difficult for them to weasel out of, isn't it? So if you wanna get your hands on one of these, or or perhaps something else that Orca Torch uh, send me through to review, then please do click that link down there and leave me a comment and let me know that you've done it. Right, on to the battery then, guys. So, what you've got here, or the UK kit, and I say that very carefully, if you buy this in the UK, it's going to come with one battery. If you buy it in the US, you get the option of buying one battery, or for a few extra dollars, you can buy two batteries. And it's always nice to have a spare, isn't it? And the sad thing is, is actually in the US, the version with two batteries is cheaper than the UK version with one battery. Now, when I say cheaper, it's not. It's slightly more dollars. But by the time you do the currency conversion, yeah, they get two batteries and pay less than what we do in the UK. I don't know why that is, but it's typical UK, isn't it? Pay more, get less. So you get one of these batteries and this is a 21700 battery and this is a 5000 milliamp hour battery and I really really like this battery for the simple reason is it comes with its own USB-C built-in charger which is super handy and super convenient because when you are off traveling when you're going abroad or somewhere like that you know I've got an iPhone 15 I'm going to take a USB-C charger with me anyway so it means I do not need to take another charger because I can just use the charger that I took from my phone or pretty much anything else nowadays as USB-C is getting pretty universal. Charge time with it is pretty good as well. So I've not noticed any sort of, I thought it might be really slow in charging, uh, but it's not. But again, with it being a standard battery, if you want to take your charger with you anyway and plug it into that, you can charge it like a normal battery. So I think that is super, super convenient. I also think another part of this case with the super duper high density foam and the way everything keeps it nice and tight is perfect for flying, you know, because you need to keep your batteries separately. You need to make sure that they can't short circuit on anything. And I think that's a real boon for this case. I think it is absolutely flight perfect. So I think it's really, really good. I will be getting an additional battery for this because I really do like having spares. It's a shame we can't buy the version in the UK with both batteries, but you can find these easy enough with a quick Google search. So maybe not Orca Torch branded, but the same thing. So I really, really like the battery. What else do you get in the box? Well, the first off, the lanyard, okay? And we're going to talk about this Orca Torch, okay? I'm going to put this to one side, but we're coming back to that because direct comments to Orca Torch about the lanyard, okay? Next, you get a manual, 
we're getting the little user manual. So, um, next we have the USB cable. So it's got a USB-C charging battery. So they supply a little USB cable. You've probably got billions, so um, whatever. Okay, next thing I think we've got is the little sales booklet thing of just all the other ones that they're doing. So yeah, we'll put that to one side. Next thing is O-rings. So you've got three spare O-rings. This torch is triple O-ring sealed, which I think is the first time I've seen that. Two is normally enough, but with Orca Torch, you get the extra one. Now, does that make any difference? Does it make it less likely to flood? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of more is more all the time. But anyway, it has got three O-rings in it, and should you do anything daft with it, it's really nice to have some spares in the box. So thank you for that. That is really good. And then finally, we have the warranty card. Super. Orca Torch, the lanyard. I said we're gonna talk about the lanyard and talk about the lanyard we are. You should not be supplying torches with this shite anymore, okay? It's basically treating divers like babies. And because any diver that I see, with this dangling three feet away from their arm, smashing into coral, smashing into this, smashing into themselves, getting tangled up, is either a complete and utter twonk or a diver that's been diving for precisely three days, okay? This and this should never even be in the same factory, let alone the same box, okay? We all know what we're gonna do and we're gonna stick one of these on there, yeah? because then we can clip it on. It's nice, it's tucked away, it's out of the way. It's professional diving, it's proper diving. We're not gonna be smashing it into anything while we're pissing about with the rest of the stuff. And that is how I've used it, and that is how it's going to be used. So grow up, start supplying your torches with the stuff that divers actually use. Give us a bolt snap. Stick that where the sun doesn't shine and provide one of these, even better. Provide the box where one of these fits because unfortunately, although I do love this case and I think it's perfect for travel, by the time I've put my bolt snap on it, it now doesn't fit and you've ruined the whole thing. It's just such a sad waste of time. These should be banned. This is going in the bin, which means it's 100% plastic waste. It's never going to get used. Take the lead, please, and supply your torches, your little handhelds like this. Even your Goodmans need a clip. Supply the clip. Design the box to take the clip. It will be better for you. You will look like a professional brand because at the minute you are selling baby toys to baby divers and it's just unbecoming. All right, guys. So, my stress about the lanyard <laughs> Let's talk a little bit more about the torch. So this torch is advertised um, in a kind of cheaty kind of way. You'll think when you buy this that this is a 3000 lumen torch, which is pretty impressive for a torch of this size. But that's a fib, okay? Orca Torch have done the usual branding thing and it's up to 3000 lumens, <laughs> okay? Up to. So does it go 3000 lumens? Mm, I don't know. And again, we'll, we'll go do some underwater shots where I'll explain why I'm not quite sure if it goes to 3,000 limbs. But what it does have is it has a boost mode, okay? It has a 3,000 lumen boost mode that you can activate for up to one minute. So what in reality this torch is, is still a pretty impressive 1,700 lumen torch, okay? with a boost function that maybe take it up to 3000 lumens. I mean, it certainly does boost it, uh, and we'll do some examples in a second where I show you what it boosts it from and to. So it's basically super easy to use this torch, okay? You press the button and it comes on at the high light level, which is 1700 lumens. You press it again, it drops down to what is it? So uh, yeah, 800 lumens. And then you press it again and it drops down to 400 lumens. If you press and hold 
the button, which is quite stiff, and you hold that for half a second, it will boost up to 3000 lumens, and it will stay there for a minute, provided that you have got the button pressed in. As soon as you let go of the button, the boost disappears, okay? So you, you can't keep it on 3000 lumens without keeping the button pressed. I mean, to be honest with you, if you thought you were getting 3000 lumens out of this all the time with that tiny little battery, um, you smoking something, to be honest with you. I mean, it is pretty impressive for a little torch anyway at 1700 lumens. Bear in mind my metal sub here that has got six cells in it, only does 750, okay? To imagine that you're gonna get 3000 out of this for any length of time is a bit of a fantasy, but don't fall for the sales pitch, okay? It is not a 3000 lumen torch. It is a 1700 lumen torch with a boost function, okay? So let's get that 100% clear and cut through that crap. That being the case, let me show you some shots underwater where I'll show you what the beam looks like and we'll also have a look at this boost function and see where it boosts from and to. Alrighty then, so here we are underwater and I'm just cycling through the different power levels. So as I say, when you switch it on, it always comes on at 1700 and then you cycle through 800 and 400. So let's have a look at that again. So as you can see, 1700, pretty bright. But again, that's one of the reasons why I don't think this would make a totally good primary light because when we went to 1700 there is a lot of light spill it says in the guff that this is a six degree focus beam ah, i don't know there's just a lot of light wasted in the aurora and again you can see it here so metal sub on the left orca torch on the right and you can see the metal sub just outperforms it that beam is solid it's straight there's not a lot of halo compared to the orca torch where there's a hell of a lot of halo which makes it perfect for a backup torch when you need to see things close up and you need to see wide spectrum but not so much when you need to punch through the gloom now here we have the torch set at 1700 lumens and i am cycling the boost mode and you might just be able to see it and this is why i'm saying i'm not sure it boosts to 3000 lumens because from 1700 to 3000 that's 40 percent plus more light does this look like 40 percent more light i don't think so let's go for a bit more of a long range test so again 1700 3000 1700 3000 it's not a lot of difference there, is it? I couldn't see a great deal of difference. I couldn't see too much more. It didn't help. So let's have a close-up look at the beam. And again, I just think at this very high lumen level, it's just not up to the task. And again, the reason being, it's a small torch. It's only got a tiny little lens. What do you expect to get out of it? Now, as I get closer to this rock, I'm gonna drop it down to 800 lumens and try the boost on that. And then we'll do 400 and try the boost on that. And then you can really see where this torch comes into its own. So if you need something low power, perhaps on holiday, you're in bright conditions, and you just need the odd like press boost to see something a bit further away, this is when this comes to its own. But this at the minute, between 1700 and 3000 lumens, certainly in clear conditions like this, I don't think there's a great deal into it. So anyway, let's have a look when I drop it down to 800. There's 800, there's 3000. Now that's a boost, isn't it? Look at that, that's quite a difference. Drop it down to 400 and do the same. That's like night and day, isn't it? So this is where I think this torch really comes into its own. So yes, guys, as I've said, I don't think this has got the spot power to be a good primary torch for UK diving, okay? I think it is a cracking backup torch. I think it is a cracking holiday torch. I think if you're going away, this torch is gonna to be absolutely perfect, especially with the travel box once you've managed to find out how to put it in with a clip on it. I think it is a cracking little torch. That being said, we need to talk about run times, don't we? Orca Torch says that this tiny little battery will provide 1700 lumens for one hour and 40 minutes, 800 lumens for three hours and 50 minutes, and if you only want it on 400 lumens, it's a whopping at seven hours and 40 minutes. Now, I've really not got too much in my life to do um, over 10, 11, 12 hours worth of testing on the lower ones, but what I can do is, shall we see how it does on the 1700 lumen limit. So let's do a battery test right about now. Right, 
We're just gonna help. No, we're just dying, yeah. So, very near, one hour fifty eight, very nearly two hours. So, yes, guys, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's not well, that's no more than pretty good. That is great to be fair very nearly two hours the stated run time is one hour 40 minutes at very much average uk water temperatures i am super impressed with that that is a pretty solid run from the orca torch and i very much do like i mean i was sort of gambling that this might give you an hour at best you know they these 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 times are always like laboratory laboratory conditions where it's all perfect isn't it you know like 28 degrees and best this that and the other so i think that's a pretty solid test to be honest with you uh, i think um orca torch have, uh, have have won a bit of respect back off me to be honest with you with those times because that is pretty genuine to be honest with you i mean obviously over time there's the battery cycle you're not going to get quite as much out of it but straight out of the box beating uh, not a little bit but quite a bit but beating its runtime is pretty impressive so yes guys that's it for me the d710 as i've said I don't think it's a UK primary. I think it's a UK backup torch, and I think that'll be great. I think the coating on it is hopefully gonna last a long time. It's got that same kind of greasy feel. The metal subs, which are virtually bomb-proof, so hopefully this is too. I also think with the case and with the battery, it's an ideal, perfect going away abroad torch. I just wish, like a lot of brands, to be honest with you, I just wish Orca Torch, I wish one of them would actually sort of grow up and start giving us the right accessories to go with these torches rather than those pathetic lanyards all the time. This XD bolt will be back tied to here. This is going to become my new holiday torch for the simple reason is I've got torches coming out of my head. I've got a primary, I've already got a UK backup, but I would be quite happy using this as well. So for the price, which I think in the UK is retailing around 170 quid, I think this is an excellent backup and also will do you double up as a fabulous holiday torch to take with you as well. I really like it. I'm really quite impressed. I've got a few gripes with the marketing. I've got a few gripes with the crap that's included. But as a core product, as a core torch, I don't think you're going to go too wrong with this. Obviously, I will come back to you in a year's time and I will let you know how I've got on with it. I've got a few holiday trips planned next year that I'll be taking this out and giving it some use and abuse. So I will come up, back, come back and tell you how that battery's doing. I'll come back and tell you how the coating's doing and, and how everything else is going as well. So watch out for that too. But other than that, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Say thank you very, very much for watching and I hope I will catch you on